Alexa, play my notifications. One new notification. From Amazon Shopping. A shipment has arrived, including internal solid state drive. So as you can see people, it's my ever annual four to five year upgrade and goodbye 1070, hello 3080. But that's not all we have today. And yes, I know the 3080 Ti is scheduled to potentially be announced in January, I believe. So EVGA has a 90 day step up program. So that brings me right into that. And if that card is good enough, it is cheap enough, it is priced correctly enough, and most importantly, it can fit into a micro ATX case, then that is a card I will get. So before we even get into any of that, gotta show you this guy. This is a GT 210, an oldie, but goodie. But why do I have a graphics card like this? Simple, because if you need to sell, you need to upgrade, or you're in some sort of transitional period with the graphics card, it is always good to have something like this so your computer can still continue to function. Before we even get to the GPU, also got a Mamba wireless, and I love the Mamba series of mice. Simple, two side buttons, scroll wheel, two buttons at the top, DPI switches, completely wireless, none of that weirdo charging dock buttons or cables or copper. I made my own dock out of Legos, so that's good right there. It was about time to go into the wireless age. I was kind of not feeling going wireless for the longest time because it, it, it took me a while to even get onto wireless controllers, people. Right here, we have the 970 EVO Plus, the NVMe M.2. So let's get this bad boy open because I would have installed the graphics card yesterday, but since my drive will be sitting below the graphics card, didn't make sense for me to put in the graphics card and then take it out only to put this back in. And wow, this thing is tiny. I have never personally seen one of these up close, but that is tiny. For a size comparison, that is a mouse, and that is the M.2 drive. That is very tiny. It's about the size of a rather large USB stick or USB thumb drive. So we got that. That's going in. Now what we all really want to see. What we're here to see. This is the size of a 1070 FTW EVGA. So we are going to do a size comparison with this. We even have the boxes, which the box of the old is actually bigger than the new, which is kind of crazy in itself, but that's not really important now, is it? Let's get this bad boy open. I know, people. Me upgrading. It's a uh, once in a lifetime thing, it almost feels like, because I do it ever so rarely. And we're probably going to hold on to these, these mounting, the mounting bracket and this, because if we are going to step up, then I'm going to need to keep the box and everything in the correct order. So by January, early February, we'll know. But now, time to open this bad boy up. Actually, we're gonna flip it over and then open it up and woo. This right here, people, is a beast. The RTX 3080 XC3 Ultra, and it has the same shroud, pretty much, hold on, as the 1070. And they are pretty much identical in size, which is good, 
because the reason I got this over the FTW with all that extra fancy RGB that you know that I love is simple. Because when you're dealing with the micro ATX, you have to go with what fits. And the post cap, this is one of those later ones that has it done correctly. So I'm not gonna have any of those overclocking or shutdown issues. And comparing the size to the 210, look how far graphics card technology has come. That's crazy. That's crazy. But as far as these go, right here, if I can get it into focus, gonna need a bigger stand sometime. The 3080 is actually longer and shorter in the height category. Longer in length, shorter in height, while the FTW 1070 is shorter in length and larger in height. So that's actually better for my computer because the problem I have with my video cards is the height area from here to here. This is what fits. This is what barely fits. Like anything bigger than that, let me line them up. See if I can get the difference for you. All right, here's a good shot right there. So as you can see, the 1070 FTW is actually, looks less than half a centimeter, but is actually taller. So this concludes my video, RTX 3080, the RGB. You know I had to get some kind of RGB. And also, I know it's 2020, but not only RGB, but you got to have that backplate, people. Got to have that backplate. I'm Black Bond. I'll catch you guys later. As far as CPU upgrades go, who knows? But enjoy your day. Enjoy your consoles. Have a nice one. Take it easy.